as a transitional segment, which is causes him a lot of pain right here. So for a lot of people, also into his low back and all the way up to the skull. So for people who are really compressed, this opening is a really gentle way to create ease, creating space at that L5 S1, which is right there. And you can even see how it's red just from where my fingertips were. And I'm contacting that L5 S1, opening it up, and I'm gonna come over to adjust. Just taking out some of this tension in the mid back. Whew. Drop into my hand. Whew. Perfect. <sighs> and in that, checking again. Nice traction all the way to the top of the skull, down to the tailbone. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dr. Jordan Fairley here at The Source Chiropractic. I'm here with Dylan, and Dylan's presenting with a very unique case, which is something that we tend to take care of a lot here at The Source Chiropractic. So Dylan went to a medical doctor and he had some x-rays taken, and they told him that everything was normal. There was nothing wrong with his spine. But what we found was that he actually has a sixth lumbar in his low back. So typically people have five, rarely people have four. He has six, and that sixth one is actually starting to fuse over to the ilium right next to it. So he has a transitional segment which is causes him a lot of pain right here. So for a lot of people who are experiencing pain in the same spot all of the time, this is probably something you should get checked out. So I'm going to have Dylan go on his stomach. We're going to show you how we tend to take care of this area for him. And so even as people lay down, I always like to view the body as a whole. So even though he has pain just in that one spot, his whole body is connected. As I'm pulling through his heels, I'm watching to see how the tension travels up through his body. So in the Achilles, into the knees, into his hips, also into his low back and all the way up to the skull. In this position, I already can notice how the right side is raised up compared to the left. So he has a little bit of rotation in his low back and pelvis. If you take a big breath here, as he breathes in, I'm tractioning his tailbone down, creating space in those last vertebra in the low back. So for people who are really compressed, this opening is a really gentle way to create ease in the structures, partic particularly the muscles, the ligaments, the discs, and those nerves. So creating a little bit more space as he breathes each time, as he exhales. Nice. Uh, have you bend your legs? <clears throat> So as he bends his legs, I'm watching to see how the SI joints on either side move. Drop your legs back down and back up. So at the end range there, this right side continues to rock forward compared to the left. So I'm thinking that there is restriction of that SI joint. I'm gonna have you keep your right leg straight and lift your right leg as high as you can. Good, seeing how the sacrum nutates forward in the left leg. You see how much more range of motion he has on the left side? Do the right side again. So limited range of motion here. So his sacrum on that side is not tucking forwards. As I contact that L5, L6, and translate and distract his legs, not as much give on this right side compared to the left, so it gets stuck on my fingertips on that right side. Left side, it just continues to stretch. So the fascial continuity through his entire body is allowing that motion to happen on the, right, on the left, but not on the right. So we're gonna adjust that L5, L6 on the right side and create more of a space or an opening. So I'm gonna have you come around this way. I'm gonna have you facing that way up, Dylan. So as he moves, I always like to bring the headrest up, keep his entire body in a line so that as we put an adjustment in, it can travel nice and easy throughout his entire body and it doesn't get stuck anywhere else. That is something that is very unique to what we do here at the Source Chiropractic. And so we're always adjusting from a state of ease and comfort before we put the force in. So I'm rounding his low back in, out, creating space at that L5 S1, which is right there. And you can even see how it's red just from where my fingertips were. And I'm contacting that L5 S1, opening it up, and I'm gonna come over to adjust. Oh, Good Lord. <laughs> Let's go face down one more time. His body really wanted that. So that was, what you heard was a gapping of those joints. When it gaps, there's a relaxation of the muscles that attach to that area. There's all different neurotransmitters that go through the body and it helps really feel good, as well as make it so that this is something that can help last long term. Have you take a big breath in, traction in. 
Good, that's opening up really nicely. Awesome, have you bend your legs again? As he bends his legs, those SI joints are even. Have you raised your left leg as high as you can? Good, right leg as high as you can. You see how much more extension he has on that right side now? So all we did was adjust his sacrum L5, S, S, uh, L6 on this right side and now he has full range of motion. His pelvis is balanced. The muscle tone in the low back is even. So we're off to a better day than he started. Have you take a big breath up here again. Just taking out some of this tension in the mid back. Big breath in. Good, as he exhales, creating space. Breath into your chest. Good. So we can integrate it all. Checking the tension again through his heels. Left side's great. Right side's great. Cool, so now you can see as I traction, his hip is actually coming back and you can see his shirt and the movement up through his spine all the way up to his head. That's what I'm looking for. Have you go on your back. So anybody who were just to say like, oh, you have low back pain and they were only to treat your low back, you're missing the whole rest of the body. That's not how the body works. The whole body's connected together and that's something that we do here at the source. As I check his neck, always checking first from a place of trust and comfort and ease. So with gentle hands, seeking through all of his muscles and the connective tissue all the way down to the spine, side to side, feeling how each vertebra moves. How can he come back into extension? Good, he's been getting chiropractic care, so that's really good. The top part of his neck, I feel a hypertonicity, so a contraction of the muscles on the very top right side that connects from the occiput or the skull to that top bone in the neck. Have you turned your head to the left? Seeing how his rotation is. I feel a bunching of the tissues on that right side. Go to the right and much easier going to the right. So I'm gonna continue going into adjusting into ease. So we're adjusting this right side here. This is the top bone in the neck and we're gonna bring it back this way. So this is a very unique adjustment. So it's an anterior atlas. Let your head drop into my hand. Whew. Perfect. And in that, checking again, nice traction all the way to the top of the skull, down to the tailbone. Good, all the way to the left. Nice, all the way to the right. Nice, back straight ahead. That is a phenomenal adjustment and result. I so, what do you say? <laughs> I feel totally different. My low back's been bothering me all morning and instantly gone. Um, rotation fully restored. And my, I, my neck, I didn't even realize was bothering me until now, and now it's way better. Sweet. Incredible. Moral of the story, whole body is connected. We have to treat you as the unique individual that you are. If you've been told that there's no hope, if you've been told that, you're, that nothing's wrong, but you still are not feeling like you're at 100%, this is a place where we'll look at you, we'll connect with you deeply, we wanna help you be better, feel better, and also live a life that's more congruent with the things that you wanna be doing. So we invite you to come join us here at The Source Chiropractic, and I look forward to serving you.